Hello everyone and welcome to a video on Galvo CO2 lasers. Um, I've wanted one of these lasers for a while since I saw a video similar to the one that's playing on uh, YouTube a couple years back. So I started collecting parts and decided to put one together. Um, I wasn't quite sure if it ever worked out that well and I'm pretty pleased with the way it's gone really. Uh, but I've had a few people ask me what types of things they might want to think about if they're looking at building their own. Um, what the expense of building a machine like this is and I thought I'd make a video that answers a few of these questions. Um, at the moment you can see it doing a vector drawing in Augie on the uh, on the screen from a photograph that I've processed in VEX. Now this is what the machine looks like overall. So I'll freeze it here for a sec so you can see what is uh, in a Galvo machine. Basically we have a uh, servo driver from Gecko which drives the Z table the Galvos themselves, which is a Cambridge Tech set of Galvos I picked up for uh, about $300 on eBay, a laser power supply, two power supplies DC plus or minus 18 volts to feed the Galvo, uh, an Arduino, and a DAC board to create the analog voltages for the Galvo. And this, of course, is the Pokies 57 CNC that uh, we control from Augie to drive everything uh, that's related to the Galvo system. These two boards are optional. One is a optocoupler, simply to feed homing signals back to the Pokies. Um, I've programmed the Galvo to send out virtual homing so that it can be uh, controlled the same way as any CNC system could. Here you can see the top of the laser, the snorkel on the laser. The laser is mounted 74 degrees, 75 degrees, uh, because you're not supposed to stand it up more vertical than that. Uh, can cause problems with dust falling on your mirrors. So you can see that there's a red pointer coming out of the laser. This is an RF uh, Firestar V40 laser. I've tested it at 48 watts. Seems to work pretty good. I got very lucky and picked it up for uh, $650, including shipping. And that included the laser power supply. That would be this thing with the distribution board on top of it. And it also included the expander, which was built into the end of the laser. And the only thing I could find wrong with it was the output mirror was very dirty. I cleaned it and everything seems great with that section of the system. So here you can see the uh, side of the laser. It's mounted in a cabinet which is fairly narrow, about 20 inches wide, and allows me to wheel it around the workshop on a set of rollers. Uh, makes a nice compact system that I can stick in a corner when it's not in use. Uh, now you can see the uh, servo uh, sled which is holding my table. It has a monitor tilt assembly bolted to it so that I can tilt the table. Uh, here the system continues to do that photograph that I processed in VEX. Doing vector photographs, you don't really go at a full Galvo speed. Uh, Galvos weren't really meant for doing photographs, I find, and uh, you really do have to slow them down to do them. Uh, so Galvo has a mixed bag like any laser. It's really good at some things and is not so great at other things. Uh, but I have to say it's one of the more fun lasers that I've played with. So here we have the view from the top, and this is basically everything that's required to make uh, a Galvo system. Uh, the white block at the front is simply a uh, high temperature tray from my kiln, and I use it as a target for uh, targeting in the laser to make sure it's pointing straight at the mirrors. So just, to, just so that we're clear, we have the laser power supply, the laser itself, we have the Galvos, which have a little target on it at the moment, two power supplies to power the Galvo, one 5 volt power supply to power the uh, Pokies 57, the Arduino Do, and the Armfly DAC board, as well as this optocoupler board, which is just to feed home signals back to the Pokies, and then finally a DIN rail board, which is only there to connect to my Z stage to uh, feed the step and direction signals downward to that. So this is the board that makes building a Galvo system a must, much less complex proposition than it might otherwise be. In fact, this makes it almost trivial to build one. Uh, this is the DAC board from a company called Armfly, and you'll find them on Alibaba. Uh, it costs about $35 for one of these boards. 
but they save you an enormous amount of time. Uh, my background's in electronics, so I started to design a DAC board, a uh, 16-bit DAC board to put out uh, voltage to my Galvos, and it was starting to get awful complicated and getting a bit daunting to build. Uh, and then I found this thing. Uh, this is a 40 megahertz SPI board, meaning you can send commands to it at a 40 megahertz rate. Uh, so it has no problem with keeping up with uh, 100,000 motions per second. Um, it's fed as a power supply. Uh, I just parallel it to the 3.5 volts that's coming out of the Arduino Do. Uh, from that 3.5 volts, it will create two channels of uh, analog voltage from minus 10 to plus 10. This IronFly board is also sold as a uh, 5 volt version of output, so it'll match those laser galvos that you see on eBay. Uh, because it's SPI, you can hook it to almost any microprocessor. I chose an Arduino Do because I wanted um, at least the 83 megahertz that it would offer. So the Arduino Do really just converts a step and direction signal into uh, an analog count, which is sent at about 100k to this arm fly board, which then controls the Galvos. So this makes it pretty much trivial to cr create a Galvos system compared to any other way that I've seen. So in the end, you end up with a Galvo that's X, Y, Cartesian coordinate, uh, step and direction, just, just like any system that you would hook up to Mach 3. So because of this board, uh, building a Galvo system really is a lot less complex than it otherwise would be. So I will drop the uh, code for the Arduino on the website so that you can modify that firmware to match uh, whatever type of uh, pinouts that you might want to use if you're going to build a Galvo. Um, also on the website, you can ask any questions about any uh, area of the machine. Uh, the two things that you're going to have to worry about most will be your theta lens and your Galvo mirrors, which of course will have to be switched to gold if you do like I did and buy a YAG uh, Galvo. Uh, the theta lens, you'll pay somewhere at less than $300 for a good theta lens, and you'll have to pick which field of view that you wish to use when you choose the theta lens that you're going to use. Other than that, it's just simply another laser engraver and uh, an interesting machine to play with. So I hope this helps anyone who's thinking about building a Galvo machine. Feel free to come to the GearHeads uh, forum to ask any questions you might have on it. Always happy to help someone who wishes to uh, go down that dark road of building uh, something strange.